Hey guys and welcome to Linux Art. In this video I want to show you how to install fonts on your Linux machine. I will show it to you for almost every Linux distribution and I would say let's start right through. At the first part of the video I want to show you how to install the Microsoft fonts. For example Arial, Courier, Comic Sans and so on. In the next part, I want to show you a very easy installation of fonts, which many users of you don't know. And in the end of the video, I want to show you how to install every TTF file you find out there in the internet. And I would say, let's start with the first part, how to install the Microsoft fonts. For that, I open up my software manager. If you are on Debian based distributions, for example, Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop! OS, MX Linux and such distributions, there you can search in your software manager for MS Core fonts. Just write it like this. And here you will see the TTF MS Core fonts installer. Here you can just hit install and hit continue. I type in my password for this and the installation starts right through. At a specific point, we see here the true type core fonts Euler. In my version, they are not shown, but if you want to read them, I put you a link to them in the video description. In my case, I will accept these license terms and select next. And in the end, we see here, okay, perfect. Everything is installing. This takes a moment because then the TTF MS Core fonts installer is just downloading our MS Core fonts. So if you are not on a Debian based distribution, um, for example, on Arch Linux, I also have an instruction guide for you. You will see here the Microsoft fonts wiki entry. And here you can see there are in the AUR some packages for Windows 10 or Windows 11 fonts. So just install one of these from your AUR and you are just fine. Also, if we have a look to Fedora, for example, here we can see the command sudo dnf install ms core dash fonts dash all. And then everything is also installed just like in our Debian based distributions. Perfect. And after some time, the MS Core Fonts installer is finished and installed. And for that, we can now open LibreOffice. If you already have opened LibreOffice, just restart it and because font changes are only recognized on a fresh start of LibreOffice. And here we can search for a font. For example, yeah, we just see here the Arial font, for example, Impact font, Courier, Comic Sans and so on. So perfect for this. This was the first part of the video. I would say let's come to the second part. And that's a very easy method for installing additional fonts. And this is also in your software manager because Linux comes with many fonts which you can just install from your repositories. So if I type in fonts dash, here we see some fonts like Awesome, Gargi, but just also fonts like Robot or for example, Open Sans. Here we have the Open Sans fonts. So yeah, you can just install them like a regular Linux package or Linux app from your software manager. And they are then also available in your library office, for example. But if you don't find your font in the software manager, then we have to install it from external sites. And I would say let's come to the third part of the video, which is also kind of easy. For example, let's search for the font Montserrat. Here we see the Montserrat font and I open up this in Google Fonts. Google Fonts is a site I can recommend you in terms of fonts because yeah, it just works. But yeah, you can also get your font files from all other sites on the internet. There isn't any specific rule for this. So I hit get font and here we see download all and I download this one and now we get a zip folder. This zip folder I want to extract. So I right click this folder, select extract here and here we have our Montserrat folder. And in here we see some variable font TTF or we can head over to the static point. I want to 
uh, go with the static point and here we see some TTF files for every font style and I would say just let's install this one. And very easy installation is just hitting F3 or select under view extra pane and on the right side I click on the white space select home and in here I also select view show hidden files you can also uh, choose control H as hotkey and here we can create a new folder and this has to be called dot fonts just like this and I open this one up and in here I can install all fonts just by moving them into this folder and now if I open up LibreOffice, I can now search for Monsara and here we see all our Monsara fonts we just installed right now. Perfect. So if we don't want to install them just for us as user, but for the whole system in our Linux Mint, so other users can also access it. You obviously can't just create a .fonts folder in your personal folder and all other guys on your computer will have this font available. For this, we head over to the file system and here in the file system, I select USR share and here in this folder share, I just type in fonts almost every file manager supports this and we jump to the fonts folder here which is also selected right now i open this one up and then we have to move these files into this folder you could create additional folders but i just copy them into this root folder of fonts that's completely okay but we can't do this because we are not root at this point of time on other distributions you can just open up your terminal select open in terminal and select sudo mv star and then usr share fonts this also will work here just go with this command here um, but um, I'm going with the graphical version so on Linux Mint I can right click it this white space select open as root I type in my password then we have a second file manager here I uh, just move it to the right and the other I move it to the left and then I just scrap all these fonts drag and drop this to the elevated privileges folder here and now we have installed it system wide on our Linux machine and this works for almost every Linux machine out there. This was it for this video today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you want even more useful tips and have an idea for something you want to know about Linux or we from Linux or should wrap up into a video, just write it me into the comments. So I see you in the next one. Bye.